What's up everyone, Chug100 here. The Resident Evil 4 Remake is finally upon us, and if you've found this video, you're wondering, is the deluxe edition of this game worth it? So let's get into it. As you can see here in the deluxe edition, it comes with both the casual and romantic costumes for Leon and Ashley, the hero and villain costumes for Leon, which both have their own filter, the sporty sunglasses, which is an accessory for Leon, the Sentinel-9, which is a pistol, and the Skull Shaker, which is a shotgun. You can also swap out the uh, soundtrack in this game for the original version soundtrack. And then there is a treasure map, which will reveal hidden items as you play along. So the great news about this additional content is it is available right from the get-go. Uh, as you go to the story mode, you'll be able to go to Leon and cycle through his costumes, get a peek at which one you like. You can even look at the sporty sunglasses accessory and Ashley's costumes. Uh, I actually like her romantic costume and I went with that. Now let's take a look at the costume choices in game. If you played the OG Resident Evil 4, you know uh, this jacket here that Leon has on does not stay on for the whole game. Um, stays on, I think, until halfway through Chapter 2. So there's the jacket, and I'll show you what it looks like after he takes it off. Here's Leon's default outfit without the jacket. Uh, this is how you'll play most of the game if you go with the default clothing option. And this is the hero outfit with the hero filter. Uh, I'm not feeling either of these. The outfit, uh, you know, has shoulder padding like it's supposed to be armor, like leather armor. Um, the hair looks like they couldn't decide if they wanted him to look like an anime character or someone from a Western. He looks nothing like Leon. Uh, I'm not a fan. Here we have the villain costume with the villain filter. Uh, this is pretty cool. It makes Leon look like one of these newer Devil May Cry characters. Uh, some, some of y'all might hate that, but uh, he has this black outfit with uh, like a feathered half of the outfit, emo-like hair, and just no, no color on him whatsoever. And as you can see, the filter has this redness with a uh, almost steam-like effect coming from the edges of the screen. Uh, I probably won't use this filter, but I'll probably use this outfit sometimes. Here's the casual costume, no filter. Um, I personally don't like this. The jacket is just everywhere to me. The back of it looks like a biker jacket. The flag makes it look like he may be in some branch of government. And then the front does just look like a casual jacket, so... I don't know, me personally, I'm not a fan. Last but not least, the romantic costume. Um, this looks nothing like Leon, but it's not the worst look. Um, I did play the game somewhat in this costume, uh, but for me, I think I'll stick with the default or villain costumes. Those are definitely been my favorites and for all five of you that are thinking about it this is what the sporty sunglasses look like on Leon um, it just adds a splash of douchebag you know what I mean like the combination with this outfit is the most douchey we've ever seen Leon Oh. 
Now let's discuss the weapons included in the Deluxe Edition. You'll get the Skull Shaker from the start of the game. That's a shotgun. It has better reload speed and a better rate of fire than the W870, which is the first shotgun you find. But it does have worse ammo capacity, worse power, and worse precision. The Deluxe Edition will also give you the Sentinel-9 handgun, which has better power, better ammo capacity, and a better fire rate than the SG-09R, which is the handgun you start with, which only has a better reload speed. And they both have the same precision. Now let's talk about the treasure map. Uh, those of you that played the original Resident Evil 4 may remember Spinal. Spinal are now a special currency for certain items at the merchant shop. You earn it by completing tasks by the merchant. If you do not get the deluxe edition, you will have to use a Spinal to purchase a map from the merchant. So, it's kind of a waste of a Spinal. Here's the treasure map in action. You can see that treasure item on my map. Uh, so many items I walked by were revealed on the map. So this is super helpful for those of you that are completionists. Last but not least, let's cover Ashley's costumes. Um, here you can see her in her romantic costume, which is personally my favorite of her outfits. It's a good look at Ashley and her romantic outfit casual Ashley <laughs> aka zoomer Ashley <laughs> oh wow she's even got high platform chucks wow so this, uh, this is bad <laughs> Alright guys, if this was at all helpful, yeah, I just got please a like and subscribe for more future content, more uh, Is It Worth It videos. Thank you. Bye.